I've always been very entrepreneurial. And uh, so we launched a company uh, in 2010 in General Trades and uh, built some relationships along the way um, and explored some opportunities in the uh, structural concrete arena. Uh, after about a year or so, uh, we made the uh, decision and commitment to drop our General Trades line and, and pursue uh, reinforcing steel installation uh, exclusively in the spring of 2011. The efficacy of, of KCOR was, was definitely impacted by a couple of key uh, relationships. Number one, uh, first and foremost, was Baker Concrete. They were very, very instrumental in, in the development of our business plan and, and the understanding of the industry. Another relationship that's been absolutely critical to us has uh, been Turner Construction. And I was actually introduced to a gentleman by the name of Jack Jackson up in Columbus, uh, part of their community outreach. And uh, we had an opportunity to uh, participate in the African American Wellness Walk. So uh, I did that with Jack and he introduced me to Hilton Smith, who's uh, been with Turner 48 plus years and uh, uh, about their Turner School of uh, Construction Management. So uh, I actually enrolled a couple years ago in 2012 in the uh, Turner School and uh, graduated from that program and that is uh, was a tremendous experience, gave a very solid uh, background and understanding, further understanding of the construction industry. and and uh, more importantly, created additional relationships. I was uh, introduced to Brian through that relationship with, uh, with Jack Jackson, and um, you know, through that dialogue, he uh, bought up the uh, MBA program. He asked me if I was familiar with it. I said, you know, I've heard of it. Uh, one thing that impressed me at the onset was the way he engaged us. Uh, Robert uh, took the time to come out to our office, and first and foremost, he wanted to learn and understand our business. And through that dialogue, we uh, covered a, 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 in great de detail some of the uh, concerns and issues and challenges that uh, we face as, as a business owner uh, here in our market. And through that process, uh, we discussed our strategic plan, which at that time was to launch a bridge division in February. So in February of um, this year, we launched a bridge division that uh, exclusively will work on the Ohio bridges and in the state of Ohio there's 28,000 bridges of which 500 are fracture critical so that's a significant opportunity that we wanted to pursue and uh, after some assessing on on Robert's behalf uh, we uncovered a need for some uh, additional working capital and at that point uh, he came back with an option of the uh, L. Ross Love uh, Growth Bridge Fund so we actually have, have pursued that and that is going to afford us the opportunity to engage and, and be successful in that business. And, and I think that that is one of the strongest values that the uh, MBA brings to you know, minority business owners that have uh, historically limited access to resources. And uh, that's a tremendous value uh, to us and uh, I certainly value that. Uh, relationship that has been initiated and I'm looking forward to uh, growing KCOR and, and experience, uh, experiencing tremendous success in the future.